What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 casting reels that are under a $200 budget. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. That's enough of this intro, let's jump into it. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing and number 10 is the Abu Garcia Revo X. Now this is a very budget friendly casting reel and it comes in a number of different gear ratios. Everything from 5.1 which is going to be great for those crankbait setups all the way up to a 7.3. And a 7.3 to 1 is a really great reel for all around fishing. You can slow it down by just cranking it a little bit slower and speed it up if necessary. Especially if you have that fish that hits you when you first cast out. You can make up some of that line, get it back, and keep the tension on that fish. Now, the way that I came across this reel is I actually had an Abu Garcia Aura X. And I casted that reel maybe two times, and something inside it snapped. I sent it out for repairs, and they very quickly got back to me and told me that they are not going to be able to repair it. And ultimately, they did not have any more Auras to replace it, even though... I had only have been a couple of months since I bought it. So they decided to send me a Revo X in exchange for that reel because that was the only reel that they had at that price point. And at first I really was kind of on the fence about the reel. But this year I definitely have found a place for this reel. I'm using it for jerkbait fishing. I have a very uncommon approach to jerkbait fishing and this reel has definitely found its way into my arsenal and has helped me achieve my style of jerkbait fishing and that's why it has landed on this top 10 list coming in at number 10 the abu garcia revo x coming in at number nine on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the loose speed spool lfs Lewis makes some absolutely great reels and this is what they consider their super duty LFS. This reel features an 11 bearing system and a zero reverse one way clutch. Now the one drawback to this reel is it does not come in a number of different gear ratios and that's probably one of the most important feature of a reel. The LFS comes in four different models. For you righties out there there's three of the four and you have the 6 8 to 1 the 7, 5 to 1, and the 8.3 to 1, and that is all right-handed. Left-handed people, like myself, you only have the 8, 3 to 1. So essentially, this is going to be a jig rod or a frog rod for a lefty, and you righties out there, you got a couple different options to work with this reel. Very interesting reel, has a lot of good features, and I wish that they had a little more to offer when it comes to the different gear ratios but ultimately a very solid reel landing in at number nine coming in at number eight on your top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the faluger supreme xt now faluger has been around for forever and they make some absolutely great reels one of the interesting things about the supreme xt is it has a lot of features that you'd expect in a much more expensive reel this reel features nine ball bearings has a anti-reverse bearing and is carbon infused side plate and that's something that i look for in my reels is the side plate attached to the reel because if that side plate were just to pop off and fall in the water that reel is pretty much toast at that point so for me personally when i'm considering a reel i like to be able to adjust those pins in the braking system and I'd like to be able to open that lid up. I just need to know that that lid is going to be attached to the reel. And I'm not needing to worry about or be in a heightened state of panic while I'm making adjustments to that braking system. Fluger Supreme XT, awesome reel. Comes at a very solid price point. Check it out. Coming in at number 7 on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the Shimano SLX. The Shimano SLX is a very compact reel that offers a ton of line capacity. One of the most interesting things about this reel is the fact that the handle on it is huge. 
this picture doesn't do this reel a whole lot of justice. And this is a reel that I don't currently have in my arsenal, but I'm strongly considering because upon doing my research for this video, I have found a lot of the features of this reel are very typical of reels that I absolutely love. This is a reel that is offering a six pin braking system so you can dial in this reel and make that perfect cast. And it is a reel that is going to round out a lot of guys rod and reel arsenal where you have up to six models offering different gear ratios that are going to suit a number of different styles of fishing. Check out the Shimano SLX coming in at number seven on our top 10 list. Coming in at number six on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the Lose Tournament Pro LFS. The Pro LFS is a reel that has been recently revamped. I actually own a older variation of this reel and it is definitely a reel that holds a absolute ton of line and definitely is something that you need to consider because your little 200 yard per spool is not going to cut it for this reel. The new Pro LFS features combat style pads and thumb bar and that's really going to give you some extra grip. And how many times have you been fishing and you hook a fish and your hand slips off the reel, the handle, what have you. It is a very common thing. It happens to me at least a couple times every time that I go fishing. A couple other interesting facts about the LFS is that it has an 11 bearing system. And it also features a 6 pin 27 position brake system which is going to help you dial this reel in. Absolute amazing reel. Check it out coming in at number 6. Coming in at number five on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the Daiwa Tatula CT. The CT is a very dependable, reliable, and easy on the wallet reel from Daiwa and it is going to bring a whole new level of casting control to your bass fishing game. It comes in a number of different gear ratios that are pretty much going to cover almost all aspects of bass fishing, which when you take into consideration the price point on this reel, that's pretty solid. And that's why this reel is number five on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing. Coming in at number four on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the 13 Fishing Concept Z. Concept Z is the first bass fishing reel to have no ball bearings whatsoever. It actually uses a space age polymer that is textbook. Look it up. Space Age Polymer that completely eliminates the need for any ball bearings in this reel. I am a huge fan of 13 fishing reels and I actually own a Concept Z. Unfortunately, again, not really considering us lefties out there, but they do have one lefty model out there and it is the 7.3 to 1 gear ratio. I've been putting this reel through its paces and it does cast very well. It doesn't cast as far as some of the YouTube content that is out there that would lead you to believe, but all in all it does cast pretty well. I absolutely love this reel. I've been using it for jig fishing even though it is a 7.3 to 1 and I've been utilizing it also in my crankbait setups. If you get the chance, check out the 13 Fishing Concept Z. Coming in at number three on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the Abu Garcia Revo SX. This is the big brother to the Revo X, and it comes with a little bit bigger of a price point and some additional features that are not going to disappoint. The braking system on this reel has been designed to allow fishermen to be able to cast lighter baits with less effort, not needing to wind up and just wear that shoulder out. It also has a 24 pound drag system, which is absolutely monstrous. And out of all the reels that we've looked at today, this is probably one of the most even keel price point reels that are available to fishermen. And I absolutely love this reel. It is a solid performer and is going to round out a lot of rod and reel arsenals out there for many, many guys hitting the water this year. Coming in at number three, the Abu Garcia Revo SX. Coming in at number two in our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the Shimano Corrado 200K. One of the best selling reels of 2019, the Shimano Corrado 200K is an absolute workhorse. One of the great things about this reel is that it has a 8 
point five to one gear ratio option for both right-handed and left-handed guys. Who would have thought of creating a reel that had the same option for both right-handed and left-handed fishermen? This is a reel that I'm definitely going to be adding to my rod and reel arsenal for 2019, and I'm definitely picking up the 8.5 to 1 for some either jig fishing and or frog. Not 100% sure how I'm going to use this reel yet. Want to put it in my hands and figure it out, but definitely a solid reel coming in at number 2, the Shimano Corrado 200K. And coming in at number 1 on our top 10 casting reels for bass fishing is the 13 fishing concept a the concept a is probably one of the most well-rounded reels that are available for bass fishermen and it has a very small profile in its body design but also has some oversized handles not to mention that those handles have cork knobs which when they get wet they stay tacky and you do not have your hand fall off that handle that is an amazing feature especially if you're one of those Fisherman that does not quit, doesn't matter what the weather is, you're out there in the conditions. It features a six-way braking system and has up to 22 pounds of drag. And one of the best updates to the Concept A is the side plate no longer just pops off. It actually is attached to the body, so you don't have to worry about losing that side plate, which is a huge bonus. This reel also features a 7-bearing system and is probably one of the farthest casting reels I currently own. This is definitely a reel that you can own many, many, even of the same gear ratio and still find a use for it. If you have the opportunity to check it out, Take a look at the 13 Fishing Concept A. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you made it this far into the video, you are awesome. And I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Until next time, tight lines.